Hello, this is Aline Camargo again, and today we have the second part of our series about traveling the world through international food. They're using pancakes as spoons. Ooh, let's see what else they do wrong. Ethiopia was the only African country to have escaped from European colonialism. It has retained much of its cultural identity and its story is one of Africa's most fascinating. It all begins with Lucy, one of our most celebrated ancient ancestors. So now we decided to do something a little bit different. Me and my Brazilian friends, we wanted to see how we felt about trying some different food than we are used to. So we decided to go to this Ethiopian restaurant and you can check what happened now. Hey guys, I'm Alini and I'm gonna try for the first time Ethiopian food. Did you notice that there's no forks on the table? Bread rolls and that we use to eat the meat and the chicken and or the vegetables that we order. So I'm gonna try the vegetables. It's um, carrots with um, cabbage. Um, let's see if I can do it. It's really spicy, but it's good. Is that a little spicy? I'm thirsty. <laughs> but it's too spicy. <laughs> not good, not good. Mm. And. Oh. So now I'll have the third option that is the beef one. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I'll put it in the subtitles. So let's see how it's <laughs> It is really spicy. This is spicy. This is spicy. This is spicy. The bread here is spicy. Different than all of the beefs that I tried before. You can see my cheeks. I already feel the spicy. But it's really good. It's really good. So this experience with Ethiopian food made me realize that okay that was too spicy for me and I didn't like it that much let's say I'm I probably cannot be able to eat it uh, every single day but now I understand that okay it's too spicy for me but for people that live there and are used to spicy things this is the most delicious food in the whole world why don't you like spicy food <laughs> It really spices me, and I have to do like teeth. Like, here's my tongue, and here's the teeth. The greatest thing about trying some international food to me 
was that last week when I invited my friends to try some Brazilian food, I couldn't understand when they said, oh no, this is too sweetie for me, this is too sour, this is too salty. And I was like, I, I couldn't understand how couldn't they like that. And I, I must say, I almost got offended when they said, oh, I didn't like this food. But when you go and try some different food than yours, then you understand. And that is the greatest thing that we need to realize. It's all about cultural differences and diversity. And that's what makes the world such an interesting place to live in. And that's what makes it so beautiful. <laughs> Next destination. This is Aline Camargo for Beyond the News.